finally come. Uh, I can only play... Okay, so the first one... Hey, everybody, welcome back. We're talking about Gex. Um, Gex is coming back, everybody. So... Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first Gex was on the PlayStation. And she it was just side scrolly. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then it went to the N64, and it became like a full 3D platformer, like Mario, Banjo-Kazooie style. And if I remember, it wasn't that bad. I actually enjoyed it when I played it, but see, that was way back in the 90s. I, I don't know how well it's aged. It could be complete utter shit, like most old games are these days. But... It could be a bunch of ass, yes. Eh, it could be a lot of lizard ass. Anyway, yeah, straight out of left field. I don't think anybody was expecting it's still a Gex. Fun. <laughs> All right, so what's going on in the game right now, Waldor? Uh, let me think about this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're like in this fucking mouthful of uh, spikes and shit. They're trying to mess you up. Well, we are doing a thing. That much is right. clear. <laughs> that much is uh, absolute. <laughs> I forget what this place is called. Maybe the map will tell. Ah. A turquoise river. Cool. Oh, uh, wow. We're gonna beat oh, the shit out of a boss to steal some extra items. Is this like an actual boss you need to fight, or is this like a bonus thing? Uh, it is a thing you need to do because it unlocks a thing that unlocks another thing that then unlocks <laughs> a level that you need to be in. You see, video game design is so easy when you say it like that. Okay, we need to do this thing that leads to this guy dying, and then you get this thing that opens this thing. It's just like one giant, like, fucking lab. I mean, maze. I could give you, a, like, a detailed breakdown of the lore and everything, but the yeah, real but question here is, do you really care? <laughs> um, There's nah, a good well, chance I mean... you don't. There's a lot of time hopping, and you're supposed to be, like, this guy who runs the shop for a while, and then... While you stop that, I feel like there's like this never-ending cycle of, uh, well, I'm being not a doing this game's story any justice, but it's not as complicated as we make it out to be either. No. I I think it's got an interesting twist to it. That's like this endless loop, you know, type of yeah. thing. The diamonds have been doing this shit for hundreds of years because they got nothing better to do with their free time. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping in um, in Sea of Stars, maybe you see like the start of that cycle happening or something. It is supposed to be a prequel. Yeah, be interesting to see. I just want you to play it one day just to see if you notice any messenger connections or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Look, I'm still traumatized by that fucking demo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just wait till it's five bucks. You'll be good. <laughs> I can't even, like, process my thoughts on it properly because I've just been flabbergasted by the fucking thing. I think a lot of it has to do with just being a little too hyped up for it. I'm not, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what I was really expecting. But the way they that, presented it made it sound like it's gonna be the next best thing since Chrono Trigger. My fucking left foot it will be. You know what? We're, we're talking about all these different games, which is great. But let's talk about Chrono Trigger. You know what? These... and I, Maybe you'll be okay with it since you like that graphic style because you play Octopath Traveler 2. But it yeah. works for that game. They they People are wanting them to do, if they do like an HD 2D remake, which they don't need to do for Chrono Trigger. It's perfect the way it is. They want to use that fucking Octopath Traveler like art style graphic design. And I'm like, no. No, that's not going to work for that. I, I wouldn't want it to be like that. Just leave it alone. Have you, you any know what idea people want? how hard it would be to make that work across like all the different time zones and stuff? Yeah, it's stupid. You know what's fine? The game itself. How about you just port it properly and then just release it and everybody will be happy. Then you won't have to worry about a stupid ass remake. Ugh. There's too many fucking remakes anyway. Yeah. Check out Quake like, 2 Remake. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Whoa, Quake 2 90s graphics remake. This is a cool deal, right, bro. Here's the boss. We're gonna beat the shit out of this fucking idiot moth for flying into my damn window. Oh, look, you got Navi the fairy with you. She's gonna tell you, hey, hey, listen, fuck this guy up. Oh, his evil face. That's awesome. 
Yeah, the fairy is actually uh, possessed by a bat in some other timeline. That's cool. We're gonna fuck it up. Hope you don't have seizures. Because uh, this one is anymore. a little, uh, a little insensitive to that matter. Hey, well, you know what? It's about time someone has the balls to put seizure, seizure flashes in their games. It's about time those seizuring <laughs> bastards died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, they've they been, get what's coming to them. They've been having them seizures for too long. <laughs> Fucking Mega Man, oh my god, Mega Man 2 has horrible seizure moments. Ah, but you when know you what, kill the dragon, what, when you, you, know what when you kill the seizures, fucking... Though. What? Mega Man Battle Network 3, all it does is uh, it's got uh, jacking in. <laughs> oh, right. Battle Network 3, is that the one you played? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny, but anyway. Yeah, Mega Man 2, you kill the, uh, the dragon boss... And you before Wily, and dude, it's just like a seizure fucking flashes like crazy. It's ridiculous. Try not to get hit by that wave, by the way, because that'll cast confusion on your ass in the worst possible way. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mega Man. Everybody, we, we said it before, I say it again. We're, we'll play Mega Man Legends on the channel eventually. It's gonna happen, goddammit. Who's gonna do the Legends, though? Um, I have Legends 2 for the PlayStation. <laughs> Look at you fucking go. Wee, back here, you're like fucker. Donkey Kong. Um, I actually... The only thing is you won't be able to hear the game, because when I run it through the capture card, like, I'll hear it no problem, but the, uh, the other Discord... Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, you turned to Firebrand. <laughs> yeah, that's Unless you don't care about works. hearing the sound in the background, I mean, you, I guess you could just hear whenever the episode's done. I guess. Um, but I, that, I mean, I just would like to play it on like the console with the shitty frames and resolution with the HDMI converter and everything, just just for purist's sake. <laughs> oh, those fucking hardware purists. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Okay, you want to know how I got Mega Man Legends 2? Like, okay, that game is really expensive to get, okay? It's not cheap if you buy it online. The only reason why I have that, plus, like, Legendary of Dragoon and these other games, uh, I let my friend borrow, this was like a decade, almost a, like 10 years ago, I let my friend borrow Dragon Quest 8, because I'm like, dude, this is like one of my favorite JRPGs ever, blah, 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 this is awesome. He played it, beat it, and then he gave it back to me with, uh, with my PS2, I let him borrow that too. And then he gave me all of his PS2 and PS1 games. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Meanwhile, he gave me a fucking gold mine. He gave me Legends 2, Legend of Dragoon, and all these like Damn. awesome games. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, well, thanks, dude. I guess I really blew his load. <laughs> really he blew his load really hard. Really sucked his cock, am I right, though? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? Dragon Quest VIII, that's the last time I'll play a PS1 and PS2 game. Here you go. Take everything from me. I love you. Here's uh, payment. Alternatively, it could have been no. s uh, such a terrible experience that he swore off gaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he swore off blowing his load. Oh, Not no. Not fair. Yeah, if you're, oh. gonna, if you're gonna get hit by that, just stand still and take your lumps. Take your lumps. Take a big dump. Hey, you, you look like you're getting, in a Getting your control swapped mid-air is a disaster waiting to happen. Laying in a slump. Your mom's got... Well, not your mom, but anybody's mom. Has a nice rump. I like to give her a nice little bump. Right in All the right. cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right in the cunt dump. Ooh. Supposedly, you could fight this guy without needing to use the Navi to help you out. Yeah, but, but you can see how tiny those platforms are. I'm not interested. You can see how tiny my penis is. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm so not interested in you platforms, and they just make a sad face. Incredible! I was flying into the lamp the entire time. Oh boy! To the Farewell. Yeah. <laughs> just gets electrocuted. Fuck. Bzz. <laughs> 
Yeah, it falls yeah into a fly trap like that. Mm, why does it a fly smell zapper? like burnt chicken all of a sudden? It smells like burnt Wolverine in here. God damn it! Damn it, Logan! Ooh. Stop trying to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, we try to shit your brains out. But this. But this. Ah, oh, it's for the map, right? They give you like these upgrades for the map. Ew, map upgrades? That's fucking terrible. Ah, oh, let me out of the shop. I don't want to shop. Nice jukebox. Uh, uh, yeah, I was about to say, nice <laughs> juke, bro. Uh oh. Okay, so we got the like, we got the candle. We got the thistle. <laughs> we got the firefly. Uh -huh. We can do some why is things. It, why is it being called ordinary candle? Just call it a fucking candle. Well, because it is a candle. A very ordinary one. Fuck, my life is ordinary. <sighs> You know, then, then I'm replaying this now, I kind of get a feeling I kind of blundered into the the trauma of Sea of Stars demo without even realizing it. That's right. You're welcome. Because, you know, <laughs> they always had that Whoa, so quirky kind of writing in their story. I oh, really should mean, have like... seen it coming, but I guess I was blinded by the excellent gameplay. <laughs> That you never got to experience. Ah, curses! We fucked me over with a good game. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you want to make clever, like jokes and dialogue, it's in video games. I like situational humor. Like, there's situational humor in, in Final Fantasy games. Chrono Trigger has it, and that's fine. Like, yeah. But if you're pulling like the quirky like forced jokes or borderlands cringe jokes those are awful then oh god like how do you even like watch this and be like yeah that's so funny <laughs> i just, just had a i out. just had a very evil thought you farted if well no actually not if i do it but if you buy sea of stars <laughs> and you stream it if i see god. Even one instance of someone saying, well, what just happened? Well, that just happened. I will yeah. renounce buying the game forever. <laughs> uh, you know what? If I do buy it, uh, we're going to we're gonna record it on Let's Plop together. Okay. <laughs> I'm down that, for you that. You know, you'd be just trapped. <laughs> I mean, that's better because at the very least, I'm not the one you suffering. You to play <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't mind talking shit about it. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I I'm pretty forgiving. I'm not saying you're not or anything, but I'm in general, I'm pretty forgiving with with games with some of their clunky designs and stuff because it's like, yeah, yeah I get it. You know, not every game is going to be flawless out the gate. Some of them just uh, rough around the edges, but they're still fun. Yeah. But so I'm not like, but I'm forgiving. But if I notice something that's just jarringly bad, like Borderlands humor or where you're saying about Sea of Stars, yeah, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that was terrible, like, are you kidding me? I mean, um, in that same instance, ooh. that's the reason why I kept going with Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just it, trapped it, in the meme. It was just funny. It was oh, a funny oh, was... game, and gameplay-wise, it was kind of relaxing, but every time the story came in and tried to be serious, well, it yeah. kind of helped itself. But at the same time, it wasn't. Yeah, and then running around, slipping on your ass, falling on your ass with like 30 packages, and it's like, oh no! I mean, Gotta say what you will, all. but the fact that they let you punch someone with a mini nuke in your briefcase and actually detonate it. <laughs> that's probably the only redeeming quality. That's the best part. <laughs> Who was that hot babe you saved? She looked like a tiefling from uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we beat the shit out of her earlier. She was uh, possessed by the mushrooms. Oh, she's a babe. All right, well, uh, speaking of babes, we're going to go visit one right after this episode. So we'll see you on the next one. Hot. It's just my mom, Waldar. Oh. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could go on.